Hey folks, I'm going to show you how to adjust your parking brake such that the parking brake is really off when you've got the shift lever down and it's really on when you've got it pulled. Uh, first you got to get access to back here. Let me show you how to do that. You need to take off your shift knob here. If you've got an automatic, you uh, take that off. Uh, for this manual one, you just spin this a bunch of times. You next have to take off this panel here, and there's just four screws, two on that side and two on this side. So get out your drill here. There's also a screw on this back part here. There's one on each side, so in this case you're going to need a screwdriver to get in there because it's kind of a tight squeeze. Remove those. Now that those screws are out, this back part will just slide back like this and you'll lift it up like so to get that out. To get this one out you're just going to lift up on the back here and it'll pop out the, and you can just pull that out. What you want to do is chalk the front wheels. So I've got these metal chocks or whatever you've got, just something so that the front wheels don't roll forward when you jack it up. The next step is to jack the back wheels off the ground. I'm gonna use this tie down hook here as my jack point. And now that the wheels are off the ground, I'm gonna put jack stands underneath this other jacking point, this little metal flange that sticks down on both sides. And then I'm gonna lower the jack onto those just to make sure that the car is safe. There's other places to jack it, but you definitely wanna protect yourself. Next thing you want to do is spin the wheels until they spin freely to make sure they spin freely. And I can hear that there's a slight grinding in there so that the parking brake is still on. If you have that, just kick the tire hard a couple times. Yeah, there you go. The, the parking, the, the, the brake might have just been stuck a tiny bit. Next thing is to lift the parking brake lever until it clicks one notch. So, there. Now you want to get the rear wheel spinning, and then we're going to adjust the nut inside until we hear the brake just lightly touching. All right, so that's spinning perfectly. And now while this is still up one click, you're going to adjust this nut back here. It's a 12 millimeter nut clockwise a little bit at a time until those back wheels just start getting some friction from the brakes. Now I tighten that thing and if you listen closely you can hear the brakes just touching but if I come and drop the parking brake the sound has gone away. And that's what you want. You just want that first click for the brakes to just be barely touching. Now let's go verify on the other side. I'm now on the other side, same thing. I have the wheel spinning with a parking brake off. I don't hear anything. When I lift it one click right now, I can hear it. So that means the brakes are just barely touching. And once you have that adjusted properly, do one last test, just pull up on your parking brake like you normally would and make sure that you can't turn the tires at all. That way you know that you're getting the full parking brake when you lift it up. After that, it's just putting everything back together, de-jacking the car, and you're all set. Good luck when you do it.